a kind day to you all. I'm Kinsmark, and I came across another free-to-play fighting game on Steam called Clash of the Monsters, and I, uh, uh it's, uh, I, 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 I just can't, so I'll just click arcade mode and show you, because... Oh, oh, those animations. All oh, the faces. Mm. Oh, all right. So let's, uh, hmm. I, uh, apparently just click. I've started the skeleton war. This is happening. Um. Such a map variety. Sure. Let's head there. Uh. Space power. Uh, can I use my controller? Because. I should clarify, I, mm, I have already heard of this game, I just hadn't ever played it myself, so I knew the sort of experience I was in for the second I clicked download for this. Mm, I just hadn't seen it so crisp and clearly for my own eyes till now. Mm. So... As one can simply tell from the uh, UI, I think this started as a mobile game, and as such has a fairly severe case of mobilitis. <laughs> this is gonna sound strange. The character models and environments aren't as terrible as I had expected, it's actually fairly clean and clear looking. The animations, of course, are jerky as all hell. The controls are stiff and unresponsive and unclear, and it just isn't an at all good fighting game whatsoever. At the same time, though, the production values are a little more admirable than I came into this expecting, so, I mean, credit there. Whew. Oof. Oh, this is... this is a painful one to play, though. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, the the stuttery controls, the input delay. Oh, all right then. Uh, the lack of cursor on the screen—that's a thing that's happening. All right, good thing the menu glows. So can I control this menu with a controller? I I can. The menu selection just hops around all over the place in directions that I am not moving the joystick in. So. That's a thing. Um, can I try her? She seems maybe interesting? How about- okay, uh... I guess, let's just go full-on vampire fight. Sure. There's a VR mode? I just saw that on the lower end of the screen. I am curious as hell how one could play this in VR. Is it just like the creepiest little puppet show you ever did see taking place right in front of your eyes? Oh man. Oh, these these controls, these animations. Uh, um they are controls and animations. They are that. They're something. Oh man. So ooh. She has impeccable form, doesn't she? The fact that half of her moves at least, she isn't actually looking forward at her target for. Alright, acrobatic that. And again though, the character model quality isn't all that horrible. I think what calls attention to the flaws in them is the lighting and how plain it is, because as anyone familiar with the engine can plainly see, this is rendered on Unity. Um, and this is at the fantastic setting, so this is as good as it gets, people! Hey, I actually won one. Cool. Character collision, completely non-existence. The, uh, little impact decals, I guess one could call them. Look as though they're from a different game entirely. I have no idea what the meter down there is for. Um, yeah, I mean, there's only so much one can critically say about this. It just sort of is what it is, and it's free, so you're not missing anything other than time to check this out. It just, uh, ooh. Ooh. I'll say this, I am hopeful that the devs of this game are aware of what they've created and take all criticism that it 
will receive, and I'm sure has already, all in good fun and in stride. Because, strangely enough though, as critical as I may come off about this, all of the fundamentals are there for a fairly classical style, as in like early consoles, fighting game. It's got the mode select, it's got a decent character roster-ish. It, it just, all of the architecture is at least functional, it's semi-solid. Um, it, it just, all of the aspects of its presentation are in need of polish. The animations, the control scheme, all of that, those are things that, with a talented team, one could iron out to make a good game out of it. I just, I don't think that was ever the intention for this. It just seems so aware of itself and tongue in cheek, I guess because it's so campy and over the top. I can't help feeling as though, and this may just, maybe it's me projecting on them and giving them credit, I don't know. I, I think the developers are completely aware of the, uh, there is an invisible man character. I have to play as him. And, uh, Ichabod Crane, as in, like, the Sleepy Hollow guy? Okay, cool. Actually, you know what? Let's... Let's go Invisible Man against Zombie, and then I'll finish this out full-on Sleepy Hollow with the Headless Horseman against Ichabod Crane. How about that? That, that I think, is a solid plan. Uh... Sure, let, let's head there again. <laughs> How am I to control this?! Because my opponent can clearly see me. Oh, I can even see me too. Oh, there's actually a super faint silhouette of the character model. He's there. He's just most easy to... Did I just throw a potion? Is that my invisibility potion? I... Oh my... This is... I am not at an advantage here. Because he knows exactly where I am, and I have no idea. Oh god. Th this is... This is not... Not easy. Ho, ho, ho. All right, do any of these other keys do anything? Uh, you know, this probably isn't the character to test, come to think of it, because if it is doing anything, I can't see the things that it's doing for me. Ooh, all right, okay, so I think holding movement in reverse is how one guards. Uh-huh, yep, yep, all right. And no one was surprised. So, character select. Oh. So let's... F <laughs> he looks so happy about himself. Headless Horseman. Eh, eh. Oh god, oh the stick is so sensitive. Contextual statement, that. Ichabod Crane. Alright. Sleepy Hollow. Because where else would these characters fight? Alright. Do, do I get the, mm, the cool sword? Eh, eh. Oh, jeez. Oh, Man. There we go. Oh, cool. I think I found a way to shoot jack-o'-lanterns out of my fist. And he's throwing torches at me. Alright. Ow. Sir? You are not Aragorn and nor I a ringwraith. Could you not throw torches into my facial cavity? Right in the facial region? It's a little uncomfortable for me. Good god, the control input delay. It is so unwieldy. Oh, man. Like, I honestly can't tell if this is a campy joke and that's it. Or if someone actually was trying to make a decent fighter out of this that just had a sense of humor about itself. I can't tell. Because these two, their stances, their forms, their animations, they're almost good. Like, I can tell someone kind of tried for those. So, I'm a little confused and concerned now. Oh, man. Speaking of concern, I am not going to win this. Not even a little. I am getting my ass kicked. And punched in the gut. So, that happened. Let me check the main menu. I, uh, I'm curious. Is there anything else? Oh. Oh. Alright. There's an online mode. <laughs> Alright. I'll check that, because I'm curious. Uh, host or join. No network detected. Um, hate to tell you this game, I'm connected to the internet. 
I can see the wire. It's right there. And I have connection. It's the light's on. So, uh, you're mistaken. P2P Online Destructions. Host must have external... Okay, so one has to manually host games. That's kind of a shame. I'd hope for a public server lobby of people enjoying the memeiness of all this. Alright, well... That's there as an option for any of you inclined to uh, subject your friends to this. And I think I've already shown everything that's in the game. That felt fast! So that was Clash of Monsters. Check it out. It's free. It's on Steam. And the App Store and Google Play and... I don't know, Facebook and Twitter. I don't know why they have those over there. Anyway, I'm Kinsmar here at Lazable Press. Thank you all kindly for watching, and as always, I wish you all good gaming, and Godspeed.